again. God bless you. I'm sitting here with my grandson, Christian, and he's going to help us today with the encouraging word. Look at the camera, Christian. Say hi to the people. Hi. Praise the Lord. Amen. And today's encouraging word comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 15 and 16. And the word reads, But we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Amen. Amen. Say amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, this little fellow right here, amen, when he uh, desires to come and he's looking for something from his grandfather or from his grandmother, he just comes in. Amen. We may be in another room, but he just bursts in. Amen. And he comes with his requests. You know, he doesn't stand at the door. He doesn't get a permission slip from his mother. Um, he doesn't come tiptoeing, amen. But he comes boldly in when he is looking for something from us, amen. And I believe it's because he understands a couple of things. And they're very simple but very powerful. One, that he's loved. Second, that he's accepted, amen. And because of that, he knows I can come to my grandpa, I can come to my grandma at any time with anything and I don't have to worry about form or fashion. Isn't that right? See, he says that's right. Amen. And it's, that's the way that God uh, likes us to come unto him. Uh, Jesus is our high priest. And, be, and through the blood of Jesus, we have access to our Heavenly Father. And the scripture that we just read in Hebrews 4, 15 and 16 lets us know that we ought to come boldly before God. When we have a need, when we have a desire, when we have a request, we do not have to tiptoe in. We don't have to come in gingerly or hesitant, you know, with hesit hesitating or anything like that. But we can come boldly before God, knowing that we too, through Jesus, are loved and accepted. And as we come in, that we will be received by God and that our requests will be answered. Amen. This one will be from the Amplified Version from verse 16. It says, you tired? <laughs> He's tired. It says, let us fearlessly and confidently and boldly draw near to the throne of grace. Amen. The throne of God's unmerited favor to us sinners, that we may receive mercy for our failures and find grace to help in good time for every need, appropriate help and well-timed help coming just when we need it. That's what God is looking for us today. So just like this little one who can come confidently when he is looking for something from his grandparents or from his mother, let us have that same childlike faith. Amen. Because Jesus said that unless we have the faith of little children, that we will not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. So we want to encourage you today. Amen. We want to encourage the people today. Yes, we do. And we want to encourage you to come boldly like this little fella. Amen. He just comes in. He doesn't think about it. doesn't think about what he's going to say. He just knows he needs something. He wants something. And guess what? I'm going to go get it. Amen. And that's the attitude that we must have as we go boldly before God and before the throne of grace. That we may find the help that we need and the time that we need it. Amen. So I want to encourage you today to do that. Amen. We're Amen. done. Say goodbye to the people. Bye-bye. Amen. And as we go, amen, remember that Jesus loves you and his love never fails. Hallelujah.